Hi everyone. So this is my first time doing a voiceover. If you hate my voice, you just can leave. And that's fine. If you hate it and stick around and say something, you just can try to bully me into not doing a voiceover ever again. And that might work too. <laughs> but if you've never seen this channel, never heard my voice before, then you know welcome. Uh, so I wanted to make this type of candle for ages but for some reason just never got around to it so i figured now would be a good time to do it so i'm just going to show you what i do hopefully you can follow along if you want So you can choose whatever fragrance oil you want. I'd recommend scent soaps and candles personally if you're in the UK, but there's many brands out there, so give them a try and see what works best for you. Yeah, I know this drawer is kind of a mess, but just choose whatever type of wick you want. For these candles, I'm going with a, a Eco Soil wick. Uh, it's cotton wick. Usually I would use wooden ones because that's kind of my staple that's what i use for all my candles but i figured i'd change it up a bit but feel free to choose or use whatever normally works for you just one thing i don't usually show on camera just because i mean i just don't bother is that you're going to want to be measuring your wax you measure it when you add the fragrance oil and when you start pouring. So we're going to go on to preparing our jar. Uh, what you're going to want to do is get any type of sticky tag or sticky, uh, whatever looks like this. You get you get your version of that. And you're going to want it to be as in the middle as you can get it. You can get certain uh, tools that help you, but most of the time you can eyeball it pretty well, especially in easy things like this and then you're going to want to get a stick and you're going to want to tap the bottom just to make sure it's stuck well i've seen people do it without the sticky bit but i don't get how that works because for me when i've tried that my wick just floats to the top kind of but i'm sure that could work for you and then we're going to pour it i'm leaving gaps so i can put the secret message in and then we're going to line it up with the stick and we're gonna let it cure and dry. So as you can see, that's now set and we can move on to adding the actual interesting bit, you know, the secret message. I'm just flattening the top here with the heat gun. You don't need to do it, but may as well.
Okay, I made a slight mistake when doing this. So you want to make sure that your wax is cool enough that it won't uh, disrupt any of the alphabet beads that you've already placed. So just wait a bit longer than you normally would and pour then and they shouldn't move. As you can see, it can be fixed pretty easily just by moving things around again. But just FYI, keep that in mind.